For what purpose does the gentleman from New Jersey seek recognition? Mr. Speaker, I move that the House suspend the rules and agree to H.R. 847, the James Zadroga 9-11 Health and Compensation Act of 2010, as amended. The clerk will report the title of the bill. H.R. 847, a bill to amend the Public Health Service Act to extend and improve protections and services to individuals directly impacted by the terrorist attack in New York City on September 11, 2001, and for other purposes. Gentleman from Texas. Mr. Speaker, I'll yield three minutes to the gentleman from New York, Mr. King, who is also the ranking member of the Homeland Security Committee. Gentleman's recognized. I thank my friend from uh, Texas for yielding. Mr. Speaker, I rise as an original co-sponsor and in support of H.R. 847. I have seen too many police officers, firefighters, and construction workers who responded to 9-11 who have pulverized glass in their lungs and toxins in their bloodstream and are dying one by one. But what we are doing tonight is a cruel hoax and a charade. Everyone knows that this bill will not get the two-thirds majority required on the suspension calendar. Everyone also knows that this bill would pass with a clear majority if the Democrat leadership would allow it to come to the floor under the regular procedures of the House. The reason H.R. 847 is not being brought up under regular order is that the majority party is petrified of having its members face a potential vote on illegal immigration. You can blame it on the Republicans, and I've been strongly critical of the Republican position on this issue. But the reality is, you could pass this bill if you wanted to. You are in control. You have the power. You have the responsibility. This bill should be more important than a campaign talking point. You could have passed it any time during the past three and a half years, but you want political cover. Thank God for our country that the first responders of 9-11 didn't look for cover before they did what they had to do and lived up to their oath. As Mayor Bloomberg, the mayor of New York City, said just today, about the procedure we are following tonight. Quote, it's an outrage. A majority of people would vote for this bill, but they know full well they will not get two-thirds. They know that. So this is a way to avoid having to make a tough decision. Our people who worked down at 9-11, whose health has fallen apart, did what America wanted them to do. This is an American problem, and Congress should stand up. And I know it's a tough vote for some people, but I don't have a lot of sympathy. They should bring this vote and vote up or down on any amendments and vote up or down on the bill and go on the record. And that, incidentally, is what the leadership should force. That was Mayor Bloomberg this afternoon. They say they want Republican support, yet they never consulted even one Republican before they made the corporate tax increase as the pay for. They say they want Republican support before they passed this bill, but they never applied that standard when they ran through the stimulus, health care, cap and trade, or financial regulatory reform. No, you only apply it to cops and firefighters and construction workers. What a sad and pathetic double standard. These heroes deserve better than they are re receiving here tonight. Now, no matter what happens on this vote, I will continue to do all I can to pass this bill as soon as possible in the future. And let me say, I look forward to continuing working with Carolyn Maloney, who has always been honest, open, and direct. Mr. Speaker, this is a sad moment for this body, and I yield back to balance my time. Gentleman yields back. The general from New York is recognized. Is protecting your sources. And, and that involves your sources trusting you to protect them and to protect their identity. Big way. Just before the break, you heard the Democratic Congressman Anthony Weiner. He got into it in the House floor with his uh, colleague from New York, uh, Republican uh, Peter King. I want to get now to the other side. Both gentlemen are with us on the Hill. This was about a $7.4 billion proposal. That would provide health care and compensation payments to those still struggling with uh, exposure to toxins at ground zero. Uh, Peter King, welcome. Uh, your chance now. You were uh, um, Anthony Weiner is not very happy with you. Uh, you may have heard some of his comments before the break. Why did this not pass? Why did only 12 First Republicans all, I, vote in favor of it? You have the floor. So let me start off. I have strongly supported this bill from the past. I have worked closely with Carolyn Maloney and Jerry Nadler to get it through. I've done everything I possibly can. The fact is this should not be a partisan issue. I have been 
very, very critical of the Republican Party. I was critical of them on the House floor last night. But the bottom line is the Democrats control the House. And they pulled a procedural gimmick starting 10 days ago, and they lost the nerve to bring it to the floor on a real vote. They went to the leader of the Democratic Party, and contrary to what uh, Congressman Maloney wanted and Congressman Nadler wanted, they decided to go for a two-thirds majority vote because they were afraid to vote on any controversial amendments. They control the House. They could have passed it. They got can, can I stop you just on that point? What, what, yes, why, why, in your understanding, did they go for two-thirds vote? Well, why was because that they were applied? Because, because they were afraid that controversial amendments may come up and they didn't have the guts to cast those votes on the House floor. As Mayor Bloomberg said yesterday, it was a disgraceful proceeding. They get paid to cast tough votes. They put their political future ahead of the cops and firefighters. This bill could have passed last night. It would have been gone, but instead it didn't. It was defeated because of the artificial rules that they put in. And Anthony could rant and rave only once in the House floor. He did not answer one point that I made last night. Why, if it got 255 votes, why didn't it pass? Well, because they I, put I would in love to see Anthony Weiner's reaction. Just go ahead and, uh, uh, yeah, okay. You call this a charade, you Peter? Uh, you call yes. the Democrats guilty hoax. of moral cow a, a cruel hoax? You said it's a failure Absolutely. of leadership, but, but, but they're guilty of moral cowardice. Uh, yes, they, they, because they, they were afraid to take I the think tough even, vote. They even were afraid to the take House, the tough vote. On a sensitive issue like 9-11, and, and trying to help responders still dealing with uh, the daily difficulties they have for that. Right. I mean, this is tough language. Uh, how bill, do you I voted for the that? bill. I strongly supported the bill. I strongly supported the bill. I totally, totally supported the bill. And I continue to support it, and I criticize my party for being against it. I wish the Democrats had shown the same courage in standing up to special interests in their party who were afraid to have an up or down vote on the bill to have it passed by 218. What and about I that, them, if, they can, if, they, if they control the House, if they control the House, why didn't the bill pass? You know, for all the whining about the process, we had an up or down vote. Do you know how, what percentage of Republicans voted for it? Seven percent, ninety-three percent. I'm going to answer. I'm going to answer the question. It's going to be. I'm going to answer the question right now. It's going to be painful for you to hear it. Your 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 rant last night about the process and how bad the process was gave cover for your colleagues to vote over. Look, I got to tell you something. One at a time, Peter. Peter, one at a time, and it's my turn. I know you, don't, you didn't like it last night. Hearing the truth is going to hurt. And the truth is, Democrats overwhelmingly supported this, and Peter's party overwhelmingly voted against. And every single day on the streets of New York, I hear people say, why don't you guys just have up or down votes? We had one last night. They not. voted not. it down. And if Peter would have voted a little more time right. to lobbying his colleagues, 12, but, Peter, but, 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 that's sorry, all you can muster. Your influential position, said, that's you all you give it an up or down Every vote. Is, Hang on, gentlemen, I've got the floor now. Right. With a simple majority, okay. it goes through. Well, what, why did exactly. it need uh, two thirds? They didn't have the, they didn't have the guts to do it. They did not have the guts let me, to vote on Let me ask you, my influential friend Peter, now I'm curious, 18 switches would have passed. Did he do that? Oh, no. Take a look at his floor speech last night. You go to my website and take a look at it. It's one minute or 30 seconds of how he likes the bill, and then a minute and a half like he did today railing about the procedure. No, not, Stop procedure, whining and get the bill passed. No, now to Peter King. Hang problem. on. No, this is, fo this is Hang phony. On. If Guys, only we got hypocrisy. three microphones they here, right now and it's tricky. We did last night. 94% of Democrats. What percentage of Republicans? See, this is nice, point. nice work. Anthony, just keep quiet for a second. Peter I King. said last night they wanted to make a cheap political point. Anthony is proving here, right Here's case. the point this we made. Hypocrisy right here. We made You're the point. We right made here. the point. We support it. Your right. guys don't. That's outrageous One to oppose this bill. One more point that we've got to go. And here's my question to Peter King. Rather than save lives, we voted. I got 94% of my colleagues. What percent did you get? How did that whip rather, organization rather, go? Rather, How's that Cracker Jack Peter King whip rather, organization rather, working out? Rather than save lives, Anthony Weiner. Ninety-four percent. Gentlemen, this may be why points. Congress Maybe today if you has of an eleven percent approval off. rating by the American public. And Thank you both for right coming here. on. We'll see right if the here. bill comes up again. Anthony yeah, Weiner. We'll That's what I'm hoping for. Peter King, gentleman from New York. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's always a pleasure.